What's up you guys, Avery here. Wanted to bring you guys a discussion video in response to David Nader 1212, something that he made uh, four days ago, talking about Konami of the TCG hates link summoning. Um, and essentially what he talked about in this video of his is that he was talking about how the way that Konami seems to be leaking things um, and the way that they seem to be going about promoting link summoning here in the TCG just makes it appear or seem like that Konami of the TCG doesn't really like the link summoning mechanic and... I don't really know Davinator 1212 all that well. I don't really watch his videos. I'm not subscribed, as you can clearly see. So, you know, I'm not trying to hate on this guy. I don't know this guy, so don't come on my channel just trying to hate on me. That's not what I'm doing here. I'm simply making a response video. But I wanted to respond to him and say, Dave, I, I think you're kind of on the wrong track here, brother. Uh, I think that the Konami of TCG could really care less about the mechanic. Same thing with the OCG. The only reason why that this mechanic is coming out is to just spice up the game more. You know, Konami's going to do anything that they can to continue to make money off of this game and off of us. Um, could it be a possibility that the that Konami of TCG was not told about Link Summoning in advance, I highly doubt that. Because why would the OCG release Link Summoning to Japan and tell all of them about it and then we find out through YGO organization and the Konami of TCG not have any idea about it until we know about it? That just seems highly unlikely to me. That wouldn't make any sense. Even from a business model, that wouldn't make any sense. Granted, this is Konami who put their uh, Metal Gear Solid games inside a pachinko machine. So... You know, take that for what you will. But I think that it doesn't really have anything to do with things being released and them going and, you know, hiding four images of cards that are going to be in Code of the Duelist to try and hype us up. I, I don't really think that this shows that they're not excited for it, rather than I think that they're just trying to tease us as much as, that, as much as they possibly can until we actually get the mechanic. Because I know for a fact, I am absolutely excited for uh, the Link Summon starter deck to come out so that I can playtest, 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 because just the game has been so stale for me. I haven't had a competitive deck since I paid $700 for Zodiacs multiple months ago, like maybe five, six months ago. Um, and that was even before Norden was banned and all that. Um, that was when we got the, like, just a couple weeks before we got the banlist drop that Brat Pier went to two. So, I don't really feel that them uh, kind of teasing images like this or um, kind of not revealing a lot of information shows that they hate Link Summoning. I, I think overall, Konami of TCG doesn't really care so long as it makes them money and they don't get a lot of backlash for it. And if they do get backlash, then it's very minimal backlash or as minimal as possible. Um, and the same could go for Konami of Japan. I mean, they just kind of released this out of the blue, but I mean, I think they did the same thing with Pendulum Summoning. You know, we weren't expecting a new uh, game mechanic anytime soon, and we just happened to get it one day. Um, same thing with Link Summoning. So... I think that this was still a very great video. It's a definitely a good watch. Um, <clears throat> but I just... I, I don't think Konami of TCG didn't really have any idea. I, I don't remember precisely what Dave said, but he said something along the lines of that Konami of TCG... He made it sound like, anyway, Konami TCG finds things out as we find things out, like about new some new summoning mechanics and whatever. And I just don't think that's the case. I think Konami TCG knew what was coming, and they've been preparing accordingly um, to help tease us along the way leading up to Code of the Duelist, the Circuit Breaker, and all that stuff. Um, so this is I know this is kind of a rather short video, but I really want to put out a video for you guys talking about this. I've been meaning to talk about this. I've just been so busy with life and universe and everything else. So, But I hope you guys enjoyed, and be sure to check out Dave and 1212 be sure to check out this video of his it was a very great video very great discussion um and yeah other than that thank you guys for watching uh let me know what you guys think about link summoning um do you think konami hates it i don't really feel like konami hates it i think that they're just kind of lukewarm about it i don't think they really care i mean they're in the business to make money so as long as this makes them money i don't think they're going to carry the way anyway thank you guys for watching as always and subscribe if you've not already
Also want to give a huge shout out to David Gutierrez for being the notification bay of the day. He was the first one to comment on uh, my ch uh, Perfecting Chamber in Episode 2 video. If you guys haven't already seen that, be sure to check it out. Um, it, it's a definitely a good watch in my opinion, even though that sounds kind of uh, kind of biased. But um, I talk about Ujama Duo and how it's good in Chamber and all that fun stuff. So thank you to David Gutierrez. Be sure to check him out and subscribe.